you guys so i am going to make a video you guys i hope you guys enjoy um how to eat a week with 20 dollars as you guys know we could go to different kind of places it doesn't really matter where you go to buy your stuff at it just have to be twenty dollars okay not more not less and you could use the stuff that you have in your house like salt pepper and stuff like that to use to put in the food um so basically you're gonna get like food for the week so it doesn't matter what store you go to to divide your money because i know some stores are more expensive than the other one so that's what your girl's gonna do so let me stop talking and let's get this video going you guys so see you guys in the next clip let's see if we could do it who think we could do it comment in the comments below So here we go you guys, let's see what we find. So I think we are going to, ooh, I found this bread right here. Okay, for 50 cents, so we are going to do this. Hey you guys, how y'all doing? We back with another video, but this is not any type of video. This is that video that when you get up in the morning and you look at your pockets and you only see $20 bills and then you ask yourself, how can I eat with $20 a week? Okay, so I have the answer for that. Don't worry, just stay calm, sit down and relax. Okay, so remember you guys, for you to survive a week you have to go to different kind of stores for you to find different kind of deals, which is fine. Because if you have to do it for you to survive, you're going to do it. So I am over here in Philadelphia, you guys. And every day in Philadelphia, prices change every day. And it's getting so difficult for people to survive out here in general. So the first thing we got, you guys, I'm going to show you here. We have four packs of noodles you guys but this is not any type of noodles okay this is the um ramen noodle and it has 20 percent less sodium than the regular one and as you see they are organic noodles you guys so there was four for a dollar so as you know your girl went and pick up four because this is gonna do something to me okay i don't know what you're thinking but listen it's gonna work for me and don't mind my dog in the background they playing with the little toys and then you guys we found this here so you know even though you in a budget and you don't have money to eat healthy you have to try to go with the healthy stuff right so this was 75 cents i think it was for four and your girl was like you know what this is my snack so i went and got it you know i could have got something else to eat but that's fine i like to eat that too so it's fine so we have one avocado i think this was like 63 cents or 53 cents i don't remember but i'm gonna show you guys the receipt later on we have one can of tomato paste it was like 53 cents i think yes we only have one banana oh one banana but listen one banana is gonna do so much to you and you don't even know that but you're gonna see when i do my stuff okay so then you guys, I found this salami and this was 127 if I'm not mistaken. So your girl went up and grabbed it and this is a good protein for you, you guys. So we have these bake home crackers, you guys. I never tasted them before. I mean, it, it looked healthy to me. Um, it's one pound and it was 99 cents so i was like you know what i'm gonna put this in my car because you know i need to eat for seven days a whole week so down here you guys i found this mustardella cheese daily some um, slices cheese so it have 11 pieces which is not bad because when you eat it in a budget and you don't really have that much money for you to do things and eat crazy you're gonna do what you gotta do okay so another thing you guys about rice let me tell you a little story about rice you guys 
I prefer you guys to go to Dollar Tree and get the two pounds because it's one twenty five. I went to Walmart and I think it was like two one seventy seven or two something two seventy seven for the two pound. So it's better off going to Dollar Tree because it's one twenty five for two for two pounds. So it's the better deal for you to eat rice in a budget. And then the beans they was one twenty five as well. And these are the pinto beans, you guys. Once again, Walmart, I think it was like 137 or 127 So it was like two or a couple cents more. So I decided to go with the Dollar Tree name brand. It doesn't matter. I only got $20, remember? So, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Okay, so here we found these, this, um, I'm sorry, this boneless pork. Okay, so it was one ninety three you guys look at this i can eat two days with this not even two days i can eat like three you know and then i think i found you guys it was this um chicken you guys look at all this and look at the price let me show you the price 523 you guys i'm sorry i'm losing my voice so you know how many meals i could do with this you guys i could do so many meals you don't even know but stay tuned because you're going to see me create these meals, okay? And then here we have 12 large eggs. You know, if you don't eat eggs for breakfast, it's not normal. So your girl had to pick some eggs up. And then the last thing we got here, you guys, is a big bag of spinach. This is 8 ounces. So you could do so many things with this, you guys. You can eat it for breakfast. You can eat it for dinner. I'm going to show you. Just stay tuned, you guys. So don't say you can't survive in Philadelphia with $20 a week. I see people out here who acting like they can't do it. And I know you can do it, you guys. Think smart and it will happen. So stay tuned for the recipes, you guys. I'm going to do this for you. Just stay tuned. Watch. So the recipe for today is going to be chicken. I already washed it. It's already clean. So now we're going to season the meat, you guys. You have to remember that you could use the seasoning you have in your house to do this. Um, this is three legs, okay? So I divide it in three pieces each. And this is enough, you guys. It's already nice and clean. So here, as you see, you guys, I use my seasoning. You could use any type you want. Um, I did not show y'all because I didn't want to make the video so long. But here, I'm mixing everything together. So let's go to the next clip. So what we're going to do here, you guys, we're going to get some olive oil and we're going to put it inside the pan. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the chicken, put it in here, you know, and then we're just going to let it cook it. You know, do what you have to do. This is simple, easy. Remember, you make your own recipe. This is mine's. So, yeah. Next clip. Here we go. So, you guys, here I did the rice. I did not record how I did my rice because I know it's a lot of people who know how to do rice. But, you guys, I did one pound of rice and it did so much, you guys. I did three plates and I still got rice for tomorrow, which it was a plus. So, here we go. I'm going to show you the food. Okay. So here you guys, I did three plates. The first one is mine, the second one is my husband, and the third one is for my husband to take to work. So as you can see you guys, I did so much with three pieces of legs divided in three. So it's a lot of food here you guys. So whoever say you can't do it with $20, you are mistaken, okay? And stay tuned for the other recipes. Okay you guys, so here, we have my breakfast, just me, because my husband went to work and he don't eat breakfast. So I took two eggs and I scrambled them with some spinach and I took some cracker and a jelly. Something simple, but it filled me okay, up. Okay, you guys, so here we had dinner number two, you guys. We went with the leftovers, white rice. We put some spinach. My husband got two fried eggs and I got two, but mine's are scrambled. Guys, this was so delicious. Simple but good, okay? So here we have breakfast, you guys. So we have two toasted sliced bread. I'm going to put some cheese, you know, the fried eggs. And we're going to put some avocado because this is so delicious. If you have not tried this toast, 
try it okay so then we're gonna put some spinach in the top you guys and that's my breakfast there you go so now for dinner you guys i took the pork at the boneless pork and what i did was i cut it in sliced pieces just because it'll last more for more days so that's what i did that's what you're gonna see me doing so i made sure i did it the best i can because i want to less this pork at least for two recipes so that's what I did, you guys. Okay, so here, you guys, I'm already washing the meat with some vinegar and water. So then we're going to take and we're going to smash it just to make it, you know, cook faster. Here, you guys, I'm doing my seasonings, you know. So as you can see, you guys, it was a lot. So I have leftovers for the next recipe, and that's why I did for my recipe now. So here, the meat is cooking. It was simple, you guys. So I'm doing it fried with... Some white rice is so delicious. So I'm gonna show you the plate, you guys. Stay tuned, watch. Mm -hmm. You guys, so this is the plate. As you can see, we have the beans, we have the rice, we have the pork. I put some spinach in here, some avocado, you guys. This was so delicious. And nobody could tell this is a budget meal, to be honest. You guys, I was so, so tired after this. It was real filling. And it was so delicious, you guys. Yes, it was. So you could do it at home, okay? <laughs> you guys, so this is my other breakfast, you guys. So I did the same thing. I did some scrambled eggs with some spinach. And I took some salami and I cut it in small pieces with some crackers, you guys. It was so amazing. I was like, what? For real? Oh, my God. So I did eat this and I ate a... Uh, jelly as well so that's my next one so this is my next meal you guys this day i was not really hungry i was gonna put spinach but i said no okay so now we're gonna eat some ramen noodles you guys these ramen noodles were so delicious and they so quick to get done you guys so i was like you know what it looks simple i want to add something into here and then i remember that i had some spinach right so here come my smart me and put some spinach in this dish and I was this was popping okay but then I was like I need something else so I took some cheese and I sliced it like you know cut in small pieces you guys this was so delicious so as you guys know I bought four packs they were 25 cents each so I ate two packs my husband ate two packs so that was two days of dinner for me and two days for dinner for my husband you guys it was so delicious and if you tell me you can't do it you i don't know what you're saying because i did it and it was good okay <laughs> it was delicious okay you guys so i went to grocery outlet and there i spent 483 as you guys can see the breakdown you know just look at it and you'll see Okay, you guys, so here in Dollar Tree, as you guys can see, I have one bag of two pound of rice that was $1.25. And then we have a bag of pinto beans, 16 ounce, and that was $1.25 as well. So that's what we spend there. Let's go for the next store. Okay, you guys, so this is what we spend in ID, you guys. I'm just going to let y'all see the receipt. I know some of the things you can't see clear. For example, here, it's $1.49, but you can't see the one then... Here it was one sixty nine, and then here was one ninety three. You know, and then it was sixty sixty nine cent, fifty cent, ninety seven cents, five twenty three. Was that was the chicken, and then the total came out to be twelve fifty. You guys, so in all three stores, you guys, you know, if you look at it this type of way, you know, we spent less than twenty dollars. Being honest, um. So here goes the other one. So we only spend, you guys, total amount. Ya ready? Nineteen eighty three, you guys. So we went under the twenty dollars. We did not go over, so that was a good thing. So now, you guys, I'm gonna show you what I have left over from this, you know, from this video. Um, here we go. Let me show you guys. Let me zoom you out. So we have half a pack of the beans it's not even half it's a little less than a half we have this type of bread left so we ate all this okay 
And then from the big house crackers, you guys, we only have, let me see, one pack left over. We don't have nothing else. And then from the drum stick, you guys, from the, ch um, the chicken, you know, what I did was, you guys, um, I divide the chicken in three pieces, one, two, three, and I freezed it so it won't get messed up. And what I was doing is, for it could last for me and my husband, right, I was taking one alone, and I was, like, breaking it in three pieces. So total was three, six, nine pieces. So it's three, but I make it, I make it to be nine pieces. And that's the way it lasts for me and my husband, you guys. And I'm being honest, I still have some left over for one more day. So, you know, if I did it, you guys could do it, you know. Um, and then this is the spinach we have, you guys. This spinach went a long way for me and my husband, you guys. I'm not even playing. Um, as you guys know, all you need is a little bit just to have your plate complete. So here, me and my husband got like maybe three more days worse. But I don't want it to get messed up, so I'm going to do it tomorrow. Not today, because I already ate. But tomorrow, I'm going to do it. You know, maybe i do some more um, eggs with spinach in the inside. And I still have some salami out. Let me see. So, we still have this piece of salami left over, you guys. So, even so before I go to the next clip, you guys, I just want to let y'all know something real quick about the twenty dollars grocery shopping for a week. So if you guys sit down and think and calculate, if y'all do this this type of way, y'all be spending eighty dollars a month, which is a good thing because I know it's people out here that they be going to Sam, um, Costco, and they spend like thousands of dollars in meals, like in food that they're not even cooking at the moment. You know, um. With this being said, if you slick, you're going to survive. Trust and believe. You don't have to go crazy with your money. Who told you that and why? Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I just want y'all to know, you guys, if I did it for me and my family, I know you guys could do it for y'all and your family. So just stay tuned for more videos, you guys. I am going to be creating more videos similar to this one. I like them because, it, you know, I'm teaching people who don't know how to measure money i'm gonna teach you guys how to do it where to do it you know and um i know you guys gonna love it so stay tuned for more videos if you like this one remember to hit that subscribe button hit that post notification for you to get notified if you're not share the video out and leave me a comment down below like what do you guys think and before y'all say something in the comments below, I did not cook my, I did not put a video of cooking the beans or the rice because I know everybody know how to cook the rice and the beans. So that's why I didn't do it. And I was afraid that if I do it, it's going to be longer. So I didn't want to make the video too, too long because sometimes when it's long, you know, you be getting tired of doing all these editing. So you guys, enjoy the video. Just enjoy it and stay tuned for more. Love y'all. Take care. Be blessed. And remember, we'll be back with the next one. Love y'all. Peace. Bye.